most of us would rather get lunch out than bring lunch in. Joining us today is Alan Jackson, chef and founder of Lemonade, who is here to give our desk lunch a makeover. Alan, so what's an unusual way to redo a regular turkey, ham, or beef sandwich? What, what I want you to do is I want you to think about making lunch special. Mm -hmm. This is just not just about sustenance. This is about making your, your coworkers a little jealous mm -hmm. so that when you get to work, you're pulling this out and people are looking over from their desk wondering, you know, who catered this for yeah. you? So I, I want you to take apart the sandwich. Let's, and, and the first thing I did is I got this little cedar plank that you can get at a, at a nice grocery store. Okay. They're usually for cooking salmon on the barbecue, but today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a charcuterie plate. Mm. And you have all these ingredients pretty much um, in so your- So is this a key essential that we need right here well, if you we're can, gonna make our coworkers you, jealous? No, you can, oh, I like that little, <laughs> yeah. little uh, gimmick, but yeah. you know, you could put it on a plate okay. and wrap it in plastic wrap, or okay. you can uh, put it in a, in a nice Pyrex and mm -hmm. take it to work. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty simple. So, awesome. you know, you're gonna have things like salami um, in, your, in your drawer in your refrigerator and maybe some roast beef, and you can change this up every day, but I'm gonna try to make it look like, like a chef prepared this for me. A little prosciutto, and you can get that at the grocery store as well, sliced, mm -hmm. and a little turkey. Okay, and that's not more than what you'd put in a typical sandwich. That's about four ounces of meat. At all. Okay, and now I'm thinking about the meat side of this charcuterie plate. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are the condiments that would work well with that? So we have little cornichons, which are little pickles, and you can have this in your fridge. So you can do this a couple times a week or once a week, and I'll put a couple cornichons in there. Okay, and maybe a nice olive. Ooh, pardon me. And then the other thing is I like little vessels like this. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna add a little mustard. Put your sauces in, yeah. get yourself going, I like right. that. Right, and then you got something to dip your uh, meat into. Okay, so there's the meat side of that, right? I love cheese, I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a cheese man all the way. So maybe you'll take a little cheese left over from the weekend party you had okay. and add that right there. And a little, this is a nice little goat. Mm -hmm. I'm add some goat. And then, let's see, some apple slices. Okay, and I probably have some carrots for the kids to go to school. Yes. Right? So I love that you're taking things that we already have in our home to make this. Yeah. It's, it's not anything that I would not have in my well, own house right now. And things like this are gonna last in your pantry or in your fridge, so you can do it one week and wait a couple weeks to do it again. Yes. And something like fig jam might be fun to add to your cheese, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add a little bit of that right there. Okay, and then apricots. There we go. And maybe maybe some candy nuts. Let's see. Nicely, there they go. nicely there candy, they go. right? <laughs> that's that crunch that I'm looking for. Yes. Right, that's that little treat. And you might have some heirloom cherry tomatoes that you picked up at the farmer's market. And let's see here. What else do you like? Is there something here that I've missed? I definitely put some grapes on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a grape lover. Let me see, so. Actually, I'll take one of those Did you right take one of those? Now. So there you go, right? Mm -hmm. And this is something, you can do this the night before. Put this in the fridge and um, well, some wheat thins maybe. You know, I love wheat thins, I grew up on these. Yes. So you tuck those right in there. And maybe some raisin melba toast. And voila, there you go. You, now, what I would do is I'd plastic wrap this, stick this in the fridge and be ready to go the in the morning. Day. And you might even take that out of the fridge an hour before mm -hmm. and let that come to room temperature so the cheese is soft and you got yourself a pretty nice charcuterie like platter. And I wanna know, because I haven't had it, it looks delicious. That'd fill me. Good job. Yeah, and you don't have to eat it all at one time, right? Yeah. You can sit at your desk and have a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. So this is something healthy, will fill you, and that you can also snack on through the day. Exactly. And make the coworkers jealous. That's Did you right. hear that? Well, this will certainly inspire me and my coworkers to get more imaginative around the office. Share this recipe with friends using the hashtag OwnShow.